came here last year just to see if I could get uh, certified uh, and get classified for my disabilities and impairments and that was uh, coming here last year and getting all measured up and and the hardest thing about that was I found out I was much more impaired than I ever thought. Yeah, talk about that a little bit. You had multiple things contributing to your disability classification by World Sailing, right? First you had stage 4 cancer, is that true? Yeah, stage 4 lung cancer during the America's Cup in 2007 when I was living in Spain, uh, in Valencia, and um, it wasn't very good. They gave me six months to a year. Uh, and the biggest problem was it attacked my back. Um, we didn't know what it was. It was supposed to be benign, but it wasn't. And this big tumor ate pretty much two-thirds of my one of my vertebrae. So they took it out, and that was a pretty big operation. But then it wasn't benign, and it spread throughout my back. And um, that was a bit of a problem. So the last nine years has been a pretty much a challenge for me. Um, and then you had a bike accident as well? Yeah, that was the last one. Uh, during the America's Cup in San Francisco, a car clipped me on Embarcadero, and uh, I fell, and because of all the holes in my back that was left over from all the tumors, my back kind of collapsed, and over six months' time, it just went to hell, and I ended up with a major eight-level fusion and uh, lost a lot of my leg and pretty much all my mobility and my torso. So when all these things happened to you, did you were you worried that this might be the end of what has been a pretty successful sailing career for you? You've done the America's Cup, the Volvo Ocean Race, Maxi Competition, World Championship titles. Did you feel like this could be the end of your sailing days? Oh, every time something happened to me, you just didn't know. I mean, you know doctor tells you you got six months to live and you kind of go well that's fine that was nine years ago um kind of puts things in perspective it a does little bit. yeah and you know i came out of that just wanting to go sailing and so you know it's been an incredible ride but you know the support from incredible friends and and the sailing family all around the world was in was incredible and and uh, you know, when I got the last accident I didn't know if I was going to work again and and uh, you know Fuzz told me well you, you should probably qualify for the Paralympics and you know when you go through these things and you're just fighting you just you don't ever think you're handicapped you never think that you're you know anybody special you're just trying to deal with things now the boat's tested and you know the big breeze here was fine um, and it's going faster all the time and now that I've qualified I can think about getting better instead of match racing which I pretty much had to do here to, to make sure I qualified.